and welcome to Stable Talk episode five. I have Megan and Carolyn here with me. They're roommates and I'm pretty sure this is like the first ever freshman on the podcast. I could be like totally wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure, which is awesome. So if you guys just want to introduce yourselves, where you're from, why you chose Stevenson, like the transition from high school to college and like it all kind of happened really fast for you guys because you guys just graduated like in a pandemic. <laughs> so I'm sure that transition has just been like, where has the time gone and everything? So whoever wants to go first. Okay, I'm Carolyn. I'm from Virginia. Um, I'm majoring in psych this year. I chose, I chose Stevenson because like when I toured, it just like kind of like fit my vibe and I felt like at home here and I was like, this is the place. Um, transition oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, okay um honestly it hasn't been that much different than high school especially since our last semester we were online and now we're still kind of online so Mm -hmm. it hasn't really been that much of a difference okay hi i'm megan um i'm majoring in nursing um the reason why i chose stevenson was because a lot of the other schools that i looked at um discouraged me playing a sport and doing nursing they basically said like it wasn't an option and that if I was going to play field hockey there that um I need to choose a different major so Mm -hmm. it gave me like the best of both worlds and plus I really like the campus and as Carolyn said transition from high school to college has been pretty easy because it was just we're starting the way we ended high school so (laughs) that's much of a difference yeah yeah okay um So we're going to start with our first segment and it's question and answer. And I kind of made it like quarantine edition. Okay. Each of you just answer each question. So what has been your favorite hobby since March that like you normally wouldn't do? (laughs) Oh, me and my mom, we would go on walks almost every day and we would go on like four or five mile walks like every day. I've been doing a lot of that too. That was the same for me. Like, my dad and I and my mom, we'd take our dog on, like, really long hikes into, like, <laughs> weird places that we had never been before and probably never would have gone to because yeah. we were just so bored. I love that. Okay, what has been your biggest silver lining throughout the pandemic? Like, the biggest positive takeaway? Takeaway. Yikes. Um... Like a good thing that kind of came out of it, you know? I, um, oh, I mean, I got closer with my family. Because yeah. when I was, like, back in, like, the first half of senior year, I guess, mm-hmm. I would always be gone hanging out with my friends. But this, like, allowed me to, like, hang out with my family before I left for college and got my mm-hmm. last minute of bonding in for, like, three months. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. Me and my brother are really close, but, um, like, hanging out with my friends took that time away from, like, each other, so before mm-hmm. I left, like, we got a lot of good quality time together, so, yeah. Perfect. Quality time. Love it. Okay, do you guys prefer online classes or in-person classes? In-person. <laughs> really? I hate I online. So I hate online. What What is, like, the big thing that you really don't like about it? Um, I get so easily distracted. I sit okay, there, yeah. I have my phones there, and then my, like, everything just around mm-hmm. me is so distracting, and, like, the one in-person class that I had, I got more done than, like, I ever have yeah. in, like, yeah. three of my online classes, so. Uh, for me, it's, everyone's so confused, usually, like, it's uh, new for us, it's new for the teachers, it's just a lot that has to be retaught and so we're all learning together instead of the teachers being in the like comfort zone and being able to teach the material they want and getting as much done as like yeah everyone. there's like a ton of moving parts yes yeah okay what's your what was your go-to quarantine netflix show Ooh. criminal minds yes criminal oh, minds those yes those. i was i was averaging like three seasons per week <laughs> Literally. this girl watches it all the time i'm like she's talking about episode i'm like i'm not there yet <laughs> i've never seen that should i watch it so, so many people good. talk about it well if you don't like like crim- like crime i like and- criminal shows i just never watched that one it's yeah really it's really good How many i was waiting for there 
Whoa. There's a lot. Oh, I don't know but if I can commit to that. <laughs> I have to, like, watch the episodes in order, really. Yeah. There's okay. one season that you do, but, like, if you go out of order and kind of just watch them, like, yeah. you, it's, yeah. it's a new thing, like, almost every episode. So. Yeah. Kind of like SVU. You don't really have to go in order. There's, like, a few episodes that you do, but not really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna play Would You Rather. Okay. 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 Um, would you rather have one get out of jail free card or a key that opens any door in the world? And why? I would probably say key that opens any door. Because you never know. <laughs> me, me, I lock myself in something. <laughs> <laughs> on the key that opens anything you know the amount of crap you can get into yeah like <laughs> a celebrity's house or something yeah literally you could walk <laughs> to a celebrity's house and be like hey uh, like or you could just easily sneak into things and like you know but wouldn't you need to get out a free jail card just in case you get busted right oh that is true like if you want to get into like Paris Hilton's house or something you're gonna need yeah. your jail card yeah yeah you would but if you have the key, then there's like, are they really gonna find out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd probably go with the key then too. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Would you rather have an easy job working for someone else or have to work really hard, but like be your own boss? Probably work harder to be my own boss. Yeah. Yeah, that's my answer as well. So that's the next one. Okay, this one I don't know what I would choose. Would you rather have a shirt you wear every single day, be super itchy, or only <laughs> only be able to wear or not wear, only be able to use like one square of toilet paper every time you go to the bathroom? Oh, <laughs> well, then I guess it's the shirt. It's the shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's really? the shirt. Because some days you're going to need more yeah. toilet paper. <laughs> I really think I would do the toilet paper. Because that's just like one minute out of your day. But where the shirt's like all day long. Girl, I feel like you need more than one. <laughs> like, uh, what is it? I can't do itchy. I cannot do itchy. That's true. That would be really annoying. But I, don't know. I need my toilet some, paper. There could be some sort of like, there's got to be some like. You can wear a shirt underneath. Something. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, this one's funny. Wear a wedding dress for the rest of your life or a bathing suit for the rest of your life? Wedding dress. <laughs> Definitely wedding dress. I watch a lot of Say Yes to the Dress. And they oh, are me so too. Like oh, me too. I love that show, but I would still go bathing suit. Why? I don't know. Like, I just, like, I would make it work. I would live in, like, San Diego or something. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to sure. say, because, like, how embarrassing would it be to, like, show up to, like, job interviews in a wedding dress? I mean, well, nowadays, their dresses, wedding dresses can be short, they, they can, can be long. black, they can be You're white. Right. You're right. You're right. They yeah. can, they can do all of it. Yeah. You're right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. 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 And as soon as I say, like, the question or the statement, you have to answer, like, whatever comes to your mind first. Okay. <laughs> like, no thinking. Who do I have first? Okay, Carolyn, I have you first. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. What is your go-to favorite fast food chain? Is, wait, is, does Wawa count? Yeah. Okay, then Wawa. Okay. Um, what was the last dream you remember? I know um, this one's really hard. Oh. <laughs> I think I had a nightmare the other night. Oh, you did. I don't remember what it was about, though. You were telling me about I think it. Some, I think I was getting robbed or something. You're getting chased. Someone was, like, trying to kill you. Oh, chased you. I don't know. It wasn't <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what was the last song that was stuck in your head? Okay. No, 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 that was stuck in my head. Probably uh, Maniac by Conan Gray. Or 505, but. Oh, yeah, I you've been a singing of, like, that all five, five, five. <laughs> That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. There we go. Okay, last one. Your favorite reality TV show? Mm. 
Pro, <laughs> do you um, watch reality TV? Yeah. You watch the yes to the oh. dress. Yeah. No, no, but the, I don't know if that's my favorite. On MTV, it's they, gotta be quick. Sorry. <laughs> on MTV, they have like um. Oh, what is it called? Oh. Welcome to my crib. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, the challenge. The challenge. Oh, I've heard that's really good. It's really good. I really, really good. I like reality television. That's why I put that question in there. <laughs> that was good. I liked that. So you got, I hate, I hate dreams when someone's chasing you. Those are like uh, the absolute worst. I have them all the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Megan, your last question is like kind of long. So when I say the last question, like really focus on what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what food are you craving right now? Buffalo wings. Oh, yes. Okay. Number one, th number one thing on your bucket list. Uh, go skydiving. That's definitely not it. But that was just one of the first things <laughs> in my head. What animal would you want to be? A tiger. Mm, okay, this one's long. Ele you're on an eleven-hour flight, and you have to sit between one of these duos. Choose only one: Kim K and Kylie, Will Ferrell and John Riley, the Step Brothers guys, Kevin Hart and The Rock, or Dylan and Cole Sprouse. Well, Farrell and John Riley for sure. Yeah, that's mine too. Sure. I love Step Brothers. That movie's so funny. I've actually never seen it. <laughs> oh my god, you need to watch it. I'm watch it tonight. We're watching that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that is pretty much it. But we always end on. Me and Jay have been trying to end on like a fun fact or a quote. So. If you guys can think of a fun fact or a quote, I'll say my quote. Let me see. I had it saved. I don't remember. A quote? Uh, it's a Bible verse? Um, <laughs> like, it doesn't have to be a Bible verse. It's like, I just go onto Pinterest and, like, type in something. Hold on. Let me do. That I love. Words, quotes. Okay. The first one that came up, it's hard to be a person who never gives up. That's your inspiration for today, ladies. <laughs> so do you guys have any like fun facts or like your favorite quote or anything that you want to share? Well, one of my favorite quotes is she believed she could, so she did. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that one too. That motivates me a lot. That's like my go-to. Mm -hmm. Do you have one, Carolyn? Um, Sorry, I don't want to put you guys on the spot. <laughs> Uh, Come on, fun I don't, fact. Fun fact. Uh, you like ranch on pizza? Yeah, I like to dip. Oh, I don't. Oh no, let me. No. <laughs> okay, I don't like French fries or chocolate. That is a weird. Thing. I don't like chocolate, but I like French fries. Yes. Like yeah, that. I'm not a big chocolate person. I mean, like, like straight chocolate or just like chocolate in general. I don't like straight chocolate. Like, I like Reese's and, like... Yeah, yeah, okay. I agree. Like, a Hershey's bar is, like, not my thing at all. Or, like, not even, even like, fondue. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't like chocolate. But Reese's <laughs> cups I can do. Yeah. <laughs> Reese's cups I really, really like. <laughs> I like how you chose your fun fact about yourself. <laughs> Oh, is that not? Was it not supposed to be about that? yourself? I, I mean, I like that, but I was thinking more like, oh, fun fact. Oh! The state of Maryland. Yeah. <laughs> but we're like, fun fact. Yeah, I was, oh. But I really, I no, I, I really <laughs> like the route that you went. That was funny. <laughs> I was not thinking of, that's not where my head was at. It hasn't yeah, been a lot of so long. <laughs> Okay, and then just to wrap, that was also a wrap up, but the last thing me and Jay always do is just, um, if you want to have any shout outs to your friends or family or coaches or last words just to end this whole thing. <laughs> um, oh, wait, can I, before we do a combined, I want to shout out my parents. Um, <laughs> thank you for allowing me to come here. I'm having a blast. I miss you guys dearly. <laughs> my oh, that was sweet. Well. But we also want to shout out our coach's dog, Benedict. He's super so cute. cute. So cute. if you look on Stevenson's field hockey page, he's probably going to be on there. Little fluff ball. Or a yeah. big fluff yeah. ball. Yeah. He's a big fluff ball. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you shout out the dog. That's awesome. Of 
worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much. Um, stay safe. Keep working hard. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.